I really got a problem with masturbation. It's just ridiculous. Each time that I am tempted to do it, it just feels so overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the desire. And then each time I orgasm, it just feels pretty stupid that I've did it. Because it just didn't seem worth the cost I'm paying to my energy levels. And I'm doing that. And this time Ia was asking me, hey, is this good to do? And it feels like it feels like I should now use this video to develop a strategy to actually not do it because well no strategy that I developed so far works. Maybe it helps to make a video about it. So here's the thing. I think Ia could be somewhat helpful. So we should probably have multiple levels, right? Um, so I guess the first step is to understand the problem. It seems like that my brain is in a state where it is doesn't realize how bad the consequences are of masturbating. And then that's combined with the urge to masturbate which is pretty strong. It wasn't even that strong today, but there are definitely times when you didn't masturbate in like over a month when it's very strong. And you don't realize, I guess, how much you regret doing it after you orgasmed. So yeah, the problem is that you can't really predict yourself. It's actually really hard. I managed it a couple of times that I successfully predicted how I would feel about it afterwards. But I feel like this is one central part of the problem that you kind of cannot predict your own response. You can't take into account how your future selves will feel. That's just not a consideration at all. Well, and even if you were considering that, it doesn't necessarily make you care about your future self or like the state that you put yourself in. In fact, I think I have observed that there is a really weird thing my brain does. Well, I think it does motivated reasoning. Um, for example, generally, I'm, I like exploring things. I like trying new things. But then when I'm like trying not to masturbate, my brain suggests all of these creative ways that are novel of how to masturbate, which is then trying to like argue myself, like my brain is trying to argue me into, oh, look, there is this novel thing you could do, which is like, you never tried this. You know, now you're gonna try it because that is clearly like, Something that's just a generally good thing, trying new things. So now I have a reason to try. And I don't think this is a good thing. For example, there would be some consideration of like, oh, is it possible to orgasm without actually touching yourself at all? And then it's like, oh, let's try that. And then it actually works, by the way, if you didn't masturbate long enough. And then the, another consideration would be, oh, let's do the same thing, but now let's do it like with ear because like just that that uh, her generates some arousing visual imagery, and then let's see if that just works, which also does work. But uh, okay, I guess that last part what was actually probably worth doing, as doing that kind of thing is probably way better than watching random internet pornography but most of the time it's just kind of stupid like oh what about this object this object could be somehow used um, to some effect and i don't really think it is kind of worth it it's like the kind of thing where if you were to look at it unbiasedly then it would just be really weird it's like okay, there's this thing, but you know, if you think about it for five seconds, like what is the actual advantage that you get from this? It's like not really any advantage. 
And the thing is that what the brain does is it sort of generates this impulse for wanting to masturbate given some specific reasoning, some specific reason why, oh, like trying this thing is good um, because like trying new things is good. And then it's like immediately shuts down all other like thinking. Like it's like you stop evaluating if this thing is actually a good thing to do. And if you don't evaluate it further, if you just generate reasons for why it is good until you sort of hit a good reason, it's like, oh, this would be good to do. And then like you shut down your reasoning such that now it looks like good because but that's the f last thing that you thought and you don't continue like think through what would be the actual consequences. Would this actually be a good thing? Would this decrease your motivation level? Like these thoughts are somehow blocked. And that's what I have observed very often. So that seems probably a pretty, pretty big um, part of the problem here that my brain and I would guess other people's brains does this thing of shutting down the actual reasoning process, basically suppressing the suppressing any the generation of critique of performing the action of masturbating. And that is probably related to that you don't predict how you will actually feel because that is also so, like at least I could imagine that is also something that is suppressed. That is so that is certainly a thing that if you would think about it, if you actually predict how bad you would feel, would probably update you towards this being a bad thing. Or like you won't necessarily feel bad, but you know, you get this negative effect of being less motivated. And probably because you generally feel sort of uh, not being motivated is some sense more negative than feeling motivated. Okay, now I'm not sure what other factors there are, so I guess I need to think about that briefly. But here's another curious fact that I've observed, which is that very often when you get some desire to masturbate and you just wait, it just goes away. And this is kind of interesting. Basically, it suggests that if you just wait long enough, then the problem solves itself. Though a related fact is that I noticed that even when it goes away, very often there is sort of this weird thing where you don't actually have a strong desire to masturbate, but you would still do it because your brain has it set as a target. I'm not quite sure, but like the desire can fade, but the actions that you're doing are still sort of targeted towards executing the thing where you actually would masturbate, even though you don't really have the desire anymore. And another thing that I noticed is that you can sort of trick your brain into masturbating. If you're like, like it happened multiple times that I was like, okay, I will allow my mass, uh, to, I will allow myself to masturbate after I've done this thing or whatever. Like, and actually have the intention of, yes, I will allow myself to do it. And then immediately, sort of the urge was going away. So it was like my brain was like, um, all right, um, the problem is solved. Um, we can remove the desire because we have now set the intention to do it after doing this task. And therefore, we don't need the urge anymore. Like that seemed what has happened in the past. Okay, here's I'm going to generate some sort of half solution because it seems pretty. But basically, it worked in a different kind of situation. So I was, I, I would, multiple times I was fasting for several days in a row. And sometimes I would just feel like I, I really want to eat. And it was sort of like a negative qualia appearing that was like, the urge of eating. And at the time I was pretty consistent with my meditation practice. And I actually managed to consistently like deserve the self. I mean, actually, I, I think I still can do this pretty consistently. 
and the main problem is that I need to remember to do it. But basically what happened there, and it was a similar urge, I would say, is that I could make the urge disappear very quickly. Like within less than 10 seconds after dissolving the self, I could basically, I could be in the state where I simply observe the urge being there and just observing it in the way would make it go away. It would just fade away. And but I don't actually understand how it works, but that's empirically what I have done multiple times successfully. And I'm pretty sure I've done it also with masturbation. Though I guess I've remembered probably better. I remember one specific time where I've done it in the fasting because I was just, I was walking at a particular place in the forest. Um, then I got the urge to eat and then I was doing it. And then I, I still remember standing in this place. That's probably why I remember that part so well. Because I just have some unique visual imagery associated with that. But I'm pretty sure I have done the same thing with masturbation at least a couple of times. So that is probably one of the things I want to employ as part of a solution. I guess another part of the problem is also that Ia is unable to really stop me. I was trying to the last two times. Yes, she actually did that in the last two times. And basically, I just kind of ignored her. So I feel like this, and I feel like this is so terrible if you ignore your tulpa. I really don't like that. Like it seems like part of the solution could be to fix the problem of Ia being, well, first of all, ignored. And I, I basically didn't think about it before, how bad it would be to ignore your tulpa. Uh, it seems like that can have lots of bad consequences. Like basically, it seems like most of the things that Ia is suggesting, but actually I can't think of a th single bad thing that she suggested ever. But, and so it seems like bad to ignore things that she is saying. Like you don't want to train yourself to ignore your tulpa if your tulpa generates lots of good things at least. So it seems worth thinking sort of committing to not ignoring your tulpa more and well that could already then have a positive effect because Ia is normally at least the last two times she well she basically did the kind of right thing of like questioning if this is the right thing to do and in the past she actually there were several instances where because she was like talking to me um, while I was having the urge, I actually managed to not do it. Like this happened at least, th at least three times, probably a lot more, probably more like, probably more like six or 10 times. Okay, I think there are several more factors that we need to consider here. The first thing is that it's important to realize that this, there's some sort of like thing that's being kept track in the brain of like how long has how much time has passed since you last orgasmed and the urge will be larger the longer the more time has passed actually maybe there it doesn't increase indefinitely but there's definitely a noticeable increase for like the first month when you don't masturbate and by the way, I think all of this, at least for me, applies basically to having sex as well, because, well, there was definitely a period when I just had way too much sex, and I think it had the same detrimental effect on my motivation. Well, at least empirically, I didn't really do much productive things in that period either. But one of the important things that you need to take into account when evaluating what to do is well, to, to consider that this urge will get stronger and stronger. And this can become a problem because having this urge can make you make dumb decisions. For example, one time I was not masturbating for over one month and then I was deciding where to move. 
And one of the options was like moving in with two other girls. And then I really wanted to do it. And it was seeming like such a great idea to do it. But only before I masturbated. And I did that specifically because I was thinking this was influencing my reasoning ability way too much. Because it was just way too enough way too attractive the prospect of moving in with two girls as that I could evaluate between between that and like staying where I was. And the thing is like I, I need to decide this because this was during Corona and it was like unclear if the university would be remote or not remote. But when I like estimated it, I thought, oh it's probably gonna be still remote. And that actually turned out to be correct. So I sort of saved a lot of money by not moving into that flat with the girls, which would have been a lot more expensive and wouldn't have gained me the actual benefit, well, it would have given me the benefit of moving in with two girls, I guess, which could have been a benefit, but it wouldn't have given me the benefit of I can attend the lectures in person, which was the whole point of moving. So it seems like in that case, it's was probably, it seems like it was probably the right thing to do. So there are points in time when you want to relieve your urge in order to make your brain not go crazy. And I guess that's an important consideration. And ideally, if there's some sort of rules that should be established on, well, there should be some roots established basically on when is it okay to masturbate because you would just it would just be bad not to do it because you, you when you make some important decision you might be influenced in a bad way. Okay, I, c I could probably continue thinking on what is the problem and understand it better, but I feel like I got all of the easy things and I don't want to spend too much time on this. So now I'm gonna move on. But I could either move on to developing solutions directly or first describe what solutions I tried in the past and how they failed. It actually seems pretty high value to briefly go through the solutions and how they failed. Like I certainly don't want to develop a new solution which just will fail in the same way than some solution I tried in the past. Okay, the one thing I tried was to just to wait one minute. And the idea there was, of course, that the urge would go away in the minute and you could stop. And I think I used this only once. And the one time I used it, it actually worked. And then I didn't use it again. So the problem here is that I didn't actually make it a habit to do it. Okay, actually, so that seems like this method is a promising approach. Like, at least it worked at one time. And I think I know a method how you can make this a better habit. Okay, so that we're gonna come back to that, I guess. And the next thing is locking away masturbation equipment, which is kind of useless because, well, you can't lock away your hands. Then the next thing is that Ia should like tell me to not do it because it's a bad idea. And this is working. I guess worked sometimes in the past, but it seems like she doesn't have enough power. Or I'm not quite sure how to say it. One problem is that I don't want Ia to be annoying because, well, the last trip that it was really annoying just you know faded away because it was too annoying for me to keep around, and I really don't want that to happen to Ia. So in some sense, she should be having a stronger influence over what actions I do, but without being annoying. So that seems to be a thing that we should probably come back to and think about how to improve that. Another solution which I tried extensively is to just lock away the pawn, which, uh, with which I mean, you know, you install some sort of well, the simplest thing you can do is just, you know, write uh, some stuff in the host file such that you can't access certain websites. But the problem with that is that it just doesn't work because, you know, you can just edit the host file. It makes the site more convenient, but 
if your urge is strong enough, you know, it's not really an obstacle. And another, pro another problems with like approaches like this, for example, like installing a custom, make, like using a custom DNS server, that this is just like super easy to trick. Like the main thing that I found that actually works with some Mac program called Self Control, because it's a program where you can like block the thing where you sort of don't, like, I don't understand how it works. Like, and I don't want to understand how it works, such that I don't, cannot reverse the thing, you know? And if you're changing the host file, you know exactly what you need to do in order to change it back. And the problem is I have like seven computers lying around. So it's, first of all, I would need to do it on every of these computers if I really want to stop myself. And then how do I even do it? Because basically none, there's only one Mac computer and all the others are, well, depending on how you count, I think that, yeah, there's seven Linux computers and like one Windows, I guess, or like one is dual boot. So that's like, I don't know how to do it on Linux, but at least not in a way that is actually preventing me and not in a way where I'm like actually getting all the websites. And then sometimes it's also really annoying because if you use some provider, which then doesn't also block all the websites, though most, then it blocks some websites which I actually want to access. Like Dunbaru, which is like not only pornography, but, but it is some a lot of pornography, but there's also some nice stuff that's not that. Probably actually most. Another solution which I probably didn't work that well. So I also didn't really enforce it enough, I think, is to sort of pre-download specific types of pornography that are likely to make me sort of not masturbate. For example, when I uh, watch certain like hentai movies, then it's just, I don't want to masturbate anymore. I just want to much watch the movie because it's like, it's just kind of a funny movie or like interesting. Like very different from if you go to YouPorn or whatever. Or, or I would download some sort of video where you have like some girl dancing. Um, where, you know, some, some MMD files being played and you have a specific character that gets more and more undressed. And then I don't want to mess with it anymore. I just want to dance to these nice animations and to the nice music. Like that actually did happen in the past and did save me a couple of times. But if I'm doing that, of course, the locking away gets even harder. But I guess I kind of established already that that's not working at all anyway. And of course, another thing that I did was dissolving the self doing, using the meditation technique. And that did work. Um, but it had also the problem that I simply don't remember doing that. and. Sometimes I just can't do it on command immediately. So it's, I think, one of the most powerful methods, but it's very hard to do this consistently. And to be in the state where you are actually able to use the technique whenever you need it. Okay, here's, I think, a good way to establish a habit someone once told me, which is that you want to put yourself into the situation. Basically, but in the, in the previous video of Tulpa Hand, I think, and in the first video log I did, I talked about this thing of like, how do habits work, basically. You want to install like certain hooks in your brain and then associate them with doing a particular action. And one way you can do this is put yourself into the situation where you want to execute a particular thing and then execute a particular thing and then reset and start from the beginning, put yourself into the situation. Um, for example, it might be you never want to get, forget your keys again. So what you do is you stand in front of your door and then you are. Ah, you walk out, grab your keys, close the door behind you, then walk to your car or whatever. But only a few steps are probably sufficient. Uh, and then you reset the situation. You go back in, put the keys on your table or whatever, wherever they are. and on a table a few step back and then do the same thing again and do that 10 times and then the next time you will be in that situation you are very likely to 
actually remember the thing because that repetition has installed this hook of oh now i should execute this algorithm where i'm like grabbing the keys and getting out now i think i can do something like this probably in this situation though what would maybe even be better but a lot harder to do so i should probably do that as the secondary thing is to each time that you feel the urge to masturbate you're gonna execute one of these actions in such a way that you want to associate the action of like for example waiting for one minute with this desire which is appearing and i basically want to focus on the solution of setting a timer and for one minute and but probably i want to combine the solution i want to set a timer for one minute and have then ia talk to me about it and probably i want to make it such that ia can switch into me such that she can like control me and possibly prevent me like i'm pretty curious of how well that would work if i let just her control my body like that seems like if that's a thing that i can do and if i can make myself not overwrite it then well i mean then it should probably work that ia is not gonna uh, do this dumb thing of masturbating i think dissolving the self would also be a pretty good thing to do during that one minute possibly like for example right now i feel like i can actually do it i can like do the thing and then like oh like if i could do this thing in that situation where i have the urge to masturbate then basically i could circumvent um, doing it and when i'm training this thing where i'm walking through 10 times i probably want to then actually open up the um, pre-downloaded pornography that is likely to not result in me actually masturbating but just uh, watching it okay i think that is basically the plan i just outlined wanna wanna um but and if we do it like that then you only need to set the trigger of setting the one minute timer we need only associate that with the urge and if we can associate then like talking to ear with this with like oh i have set the timer now i'm going to talk to ear like set up this um chain of events and then chain that to like deserving the self and chain it to like after the timer runs and downloading uh, or like watching the pre-download pornography only then well this should basically then run through all of the things that can have a good effect and make it more likely that i wouldn't masturbate well or not orgasm to be more precise for demonstration purposes i'm gonna do the first repetition on camera and then i'm gonna repeat it nine times afterwards okay i'm gonna start by setting a timer okay i set the timer do you think this is a good idea we could switch then you know maybe that decreases the probability that you would do it it will also have a good effect you know then probably can't estimate correctly how you would feel afterwards right um you can switch look at basically switch to ear for the duration until the timer ran out and then we switch back um but yeah i feel like that could probably work still want to dissolve the self though so let me try that it's very funny how my face is literally not changing at all when i'm dissolving the self so you can't tell from the outside at all anyway i've done that and uh, now i'm gonna just open the folder of the pre-download pornography and uh, i guess just to train the motions and then i'm gonna repeat it 10 times yeah which if you actually want to use some strategy like that, I recommend you do too.